Hi, everybody. Okay, so... Uh, this I know this says 4 minutes and 51 seconds, but what you're really only getting is a couple of minutes. Uh, what you're going to be seeing is a bunch of weather flying across the top of the hangar here. So, I mean, it's rainy and crappy and poo, right? Look at that plastic tarp I've put on, on top of the uh, fuselage. This thing is just blowing gale force. Now, now that's why I have it taped down now, just to cover it. So what we're, going, what we're working on is more of the back panel. So the Garmin system I'm using, which is really awesome, consists of a display and then two or three instruments for all of your heading data and all your reference data. And then there's just a whole bunch of boxes that take the rest of your uh, plane's normal electrical inputs and then uses that to display all of that data and manage it inside of the Garmin system, right? Okay, for that to happen, there's about, I think, four boxes that are going to be sitting behind the panel with nothing to do with the display. I mean, technically, right? So it's, you know, there's the um, uh, electronic controller is back there. The engine analyzer is back there. Uh, let's see what else. There's uh, a portal for all the GPS data that's got to go from the IFR navigator over to the display. And that's back there. And, yeah, of course, there's also going to be, like, a remote radio. That I'm putting that back there. And I'm going to have, oh god, what else? Let's see, I'm also going to have two um, electronic control units for the electronic ignition and injection. They're going to be back there. So, finding a place to put all these boxes is definitely going to be a challenge, right? Uh, plus, there's going to be a bus manager for the two batteries that I have. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get away with not attaching things directly to the back of the sub panel and that's and that's perfectly fine right uh, what I'm working on here today is actually coming up with a uh, system so I've seen some other people that have panels done by some other companies and one of the companies I'm not gonna name them who because I feel guilty enough just stealing this from seeing their design uh, basically what I'm doing is making a shelf so the panel as you can see like where the cutout is as you're looking at the panel right now on the right side, where that panel for the G3X monitor is, imagine a shelf behind it in three d uh, dimensions, right? So the sides and the bottoms. Imagine a shelf back there. With that shelf, you can then mount a bunch of these boxes that I'm talking about directly behind the display uh, so that if you need to work on any parts of the Garmin system, it's no more difficult than just unhooking the... Uh, wiring harnesses from the back, unscrewing the front of the panel, and removing the whole thing at once, right? So what you see me doing here is, here I am making the actual sides. So I'm making two for each side, and I'm bending two flanges and a piece of metal. Uh, unfortunately, the brake I have isn't the right size. So I have to go back and forth and break a piece back and forth and back and forth until it gets to 90 degrees those two pieces will sit on either side of the G3X display. And then there will be a shelf attached to both ends of that, right? And that, the shelf and the sides, will both have uh, pieces on it. Now, I, I'm not sure how much room I'm going to have. I'm, uh, I kind of ran out of spare metal, so I've ordered some more. Uh, I do know that this is going to work very well. Uh, once I... Like I said, I'm hesitant to say the other company that makes these. Because like I said, I feel really guilty. Uh, some guys that have RV14s have shown me pictures of their panels, and I'm like, that's genius. And there it is. Okay. Stop the video there. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, right? Those are the two shelves I've made out of spare uh, all clad stock, and I've bent two flanges on, right? If you look at the upper shelf there, you can see the, the bottom flange, which is just to the side of the opening for the G3X, right? And then this uh, flange on the right. The, the shelf closest to the camera has the same two flanges. So if you just, you know, use your imagination and attach a piece of metal between the two flanges you see to the right, and that'll be the bottom of the shelf, right? So those three pieces together, all attached, uh, I'll be able to put, you know, at least a couple of the remote boxes that are in the back, right, it, on this shelving, right, somewhere in there. And this will make it so much easier to have to deal with, you know, 
repairs or wiring or line replacement. So <clears throat> once I have it done, uh, if anyone wants to know where I found out about this, ask me. But I, you know, like I said, I I've seen other people's pictures and I'm just I'm just straight stealing it. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it if they weren't making such a cool thing. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for now, uh, until I get the spare metal, because the flanges aren't quite right, and I'll explain that when I pick this up next time, so. Uh, for the next couple of videos, we're actually going to be working on Chapter 35, which is the upper fuselage panel. It's, uh, it's the last of the big metal work in the fuselage that I have left to do. I've been just kind of stalling, because I didn't want to, you know, get it done with all of a sudden. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, and see you soon.